टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज नंबर सिस्टम नंबर सिस्टम हैविंग फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स बाइनरी ऑक्टल डेसिमल एंड हेक्सा डेसिमल बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम बेस इज टू ऑक्टल नंबर सिस्टम बेस इज एट डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम बेस इज टेन एंड हेक्सा डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम बेस इज सिक्सटीन ओके इन बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम ओनली वी आर हैविंग टू डिफरेंट वैल्यूज दैट इज जीरो और वन In octal number system, we are having eight values. That is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, in decimal number system, that base is ten. We are having ten numbers: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in hexadecimal number system, we are having sixteen values: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But instead of ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We write uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. So question is why we write A, B, C, D, E, F. So I'm giving one example. Let's consider. Suppose we want to write this. Now you tell me in hexadecimal number system it is what ten eleven or one zero one one or ten one one or one zero eleven. We cannot say what it is. But if we write A, B. Easily we can say okay it is ten it is eleven. So to distinguish this type of problems to solve this type of problems we write instead of ten a instead of eleven b because we are having different values like zero one we are having this type of digits here zero one two three four so we cannot write like this one zero one two we cannot write. So better to uh, distinguish from single single digits we can write a. And C, so A means ten and C means twelve. That's why we write this. That's why creators they create like this, creates like created like this. Okay, that's why it is called number system, hexadecimal number system. We are having total number of sixteen digits, sixteen number of digits we are having. Out of that, nine, ten are digits. These ten are digits, and these six are alphabets A to F. Zero, ah, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. To start with other things in number system, we should know about storage units in computer. We are having storage unit, smallest storage unit called bits. Bit, either zero or one, single bit. Either zero we can keep or one. That is binary numbers also. So four bits equals to one nibble. Eight bits equals to one byte. Similarly, one zero two four bytes equals to one kilobyte. We know KB very well. We know that one KB. Similarly, one zero two four KB is equals to one megabyte. That is called MB. One zero two four megabytes equals to one GB. That is gigabyte. One zero two four gigabyte equals to one terabyte, and so on. We are having. So this is called storage units. Okay. So, why we have to know about this number systems? Decimal number system and binary octal hexadecimal number systems. Decimal number system is also known as human number system or human language. Whatever we know, we create a number from uh, any digit that you want to create any number. It belongs to zero to nine digits, except zero to nine. It means zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We cannot create any number. We cannot create. So we have to use either zero or nine or between these two. Okay. And binary octal and hexadecimal number system is known as computer language or computer number system. So when we give input to a computer system, that is called input. Suppose input to a computer system, that is called computer CPU processor. We give input, and processor provides us output. Okay, so we give decimal number system. It converts into either binary or octal or hexadecimal number system here, here somewhere here. It processes like this in number system. This number system it processes, and then afterwards it converts it into Again, decimal number system, and then it gives us the result. So we get uh, result in decimal number system. We gives 
our input in decimal number system, but CPU somewhere it converts into decimal uh, decimal to binary or decimal to octal or decimal to hexadecimal number system here. Similarly, in vice versa person here from binary to decimal, octal to decimal or hexadecimal to decimal. So, these things we will do in our chapter, in this chapter we will learn how to convert decimal to binary or decimal to octal or decimal to hexadecimal. Let us see.